a reversion story of how I came to Islam. People are always asking me how I converted to Islam, but I think that's really funny because I think everyone makes a conscious decision to be Muslim. You might be brought up Muslim and knowing it, but you get to an age when you sort of question, like, why is it right? Why is it this? I mean, you're not going against it, you're just asking why, because you, you've always known it, but you have deeper questions. So I was brought up Christian, um, Baptist, but I just thought it was Christian, I didn't know there was more than one kind of Christian. Um, I went to church with my family, just thought it was a place to hang out. Um, I thought I thought everyone sort of knew, like I thought everyone was Christian. I just, I don't know, religion really didn't really go through my brain, I was a kid. I guess that's normal. Um, I first learned about Islam when I was about eight, um, I think I was eight, when the Twin Towers happened. Um, I was in class and all I remember is my teacher saying that it was Muslim terrorists that did it. And so I was like, oh, okay, Muslims are bad. That's, and that's, that's all I knew, like, until I was like 13, that's all I thought of Muslims. Like, I didn't hate them, I just thought, okay, they do that, doesn't affect me here, so I just went on with life. When I was about eight, around the same time I actually knew about Islam, um, my parents divorced and I decided to live with my mum. So I lived with her. Um, she did not go to church, my dad also did not go to church, so no one went to church anymore, but I still wanted to because I had, you know, friends there and I thought it was like, what are you supposed to do, you know, you're Christian, you go to church. So I still went, I, every Sunday my mum would drive me to church, drop me off and pick me up three hours later. Um, yeah, so I was my own Christian, but that was the time when things started clicking and I think it was the main thing was dancing like music was such a big thing at this church that I was thinking like and I, I was sitting there and I was just looking at people dancing and I was like does dancing make you a better Christian? because it seemed like the better Christians were the ones who were more enthusiastically dancing I, I just didn't understand it so from the age of about 13 um, until I was 16, um, I sort of had no religion. If someone asked me what religion I was, I would say Christian, but I was sort of one of the Christians who did nothing. I'm sure lots of you know those kind of Christians. Um, yeah. So, I mean, I'd still read the Bible, but I'd, it was sort of like a secret thing. I'd read it thinking it was wrong. Like, I knew, I knew... I just, it didn't make sense. And then, um, it was when I was about 15, 16, 16 I'd say, and I read it, and um, I can't remember what chapter it was or what verse it was, um, but it said that women should cover their heads. And that just clicked something in me. I was thinking, Christians don't do that. The only religion I know of that does that is Muslims. And so, I was like, well, well what else does it say about Muslims in, in the Bible? Um, and I actually found a lot, you know, don't eat pork, don't drink. And I was thinking, this, like, how does no one read this? Like, you see people in churches and they're like, yeah, I've read the whole Bible. But if you read the whole Bible, why are you still eating pork and not covering your head? It, I sort of stopped reading the Bible. Um, because everything I read in it, just Islam would go on my head, you know? That's, that's a Muslim thing to do. That's, you know, like, if I would ask the priest or any Christian person that I knew um, a question I had, he would either say, oh no, this doesn't happen anymore. And I was thinking, that's the Bible. It's supposed to, you know, it's not, if it's the old times, then shouldn't you get the newer book being the Quran? Anyway, um, I just didn't understand why they could never give me an answer. I just, it's ridiculous. Anyway, um, and if you ask a Muslim scholar a question, they will answer it for you, always. <laughs> it wasn't just me who introduced me to Islam, like I, it, yeah, it wasn't me. Um, I had friends who were Muslim, um, 
two main ones. One guy one, one girl one. So no one can say I did it for a guy. Because my best friend was Muslim. And she was a girl. Um, she still is my best friend. And she, um, like, I remember it was almost Ramadan one year. I was, I was 16. And I went to biology class and sat there. And I was, think, and I was, I was like arguing Christianity with someone. And I kept asking her, like, I think it was about Noah's flood or something. And then my best friend was just sitting there working, and she just answered it. And that was it. Like, she didn't try and convert me to Islam or anything. She just answered it. And I was like, whoa, that makes sense. And then it just it made me so curious about this secret religion. I thought, like, I don't know, because I always thought of Muslims as on TV as, you know, trying to convert you and try to... I don't know, just bad people. But then I was thinking, you don't get door-to-door -door Muslim. Another time was when I was texting my friend and suddenly he sent me a text saying, sorry, can't text, I'm at mosque. And I was like, what is this magical place that people go to and can't text me? Because at church, people would sit there at the back texting, people are outside smoking, like, yeah, anyway. Um, and I just thought it was such a like a secret place, I, not bad secret, just secret. And I was, I was really jealous. Like, Christians didn't have that. They, we had to plaster on a smile every time we went to church. We had to be something that we weren't. And we had to impress everyone else. And it was hard. It's, it's really hard being Christian. You, it's, it's like a, putting on this face every day that, and you take it off the end of the day and you just, let it go. It's just so hard. And I feel like being Muslim, I'm me. I am truly me. Um, yeah. But yeah, this, when I learned about mosque, I thought, like, what's the secret place that no one's telling me about? He wouldn't say, I'm at mosque, this is where I pray, because I'm Muslim, I pray five times a day. He just said, I'm at mosque. And I was like, it must be secret. Am I not allowed to know about it? I can't think of anything else to say right now. If you have any questions, um, let me know down below. Um, and I will make another video like this. If I've missed out anything big, I can't, I don't know. Um, I'll make another video of like my conversion, reversion story part two.